it, this could be a long matchup. We'll see. If they're both playing good, it should they be definitely, long. Yeah, this is a, a matchup that can, you know, turn into a weight fest. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect both, trades. Yeah, they start out almost identical. I believe Toko's playing green, and we should have Professor Wizard on the blue. Got top plat. All no. trades right now. <laughs> They're perfectly even matched. Ooh. Oh, good. He waits out for the jump, and uh, Professor Wizard just gets a little bit antsy there. Oh, good DI by Toko. Kind of tricked him there. He's been like the most even stock ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, that pound is very punishable. If, if you whip it and they're even anywhere near the vicinity, they can just punish it on reaction. Presser Wizard seems to be controlling the top lap, but uh, it's working out for Toko so far. Pushes him off. Oh, oh, called out. Yeah, that was a sick read. Yeah, I think um, Toko's had success from below so far, but I, I don't know if that's going to continue. It's just uh, you really want to be above in this matchup, I think. Yeah, having the high ground is matchups an advantage. So you'll see both puffs aren't going to want to give up top plat once they have it. Bit of a little aerial battle there. Toko goes for the up tilt rather than uh, grab, and it seems like, oh! And wow. right back at you. <laughs> Gotta DI that. You should, it should be very hard to get those in this matchup. Wow, look at these delays. It's really working out for Toko. Simple down air grab from uh, Professor Wizard here. Really trade. Oh, look at that ledge cancel. Kind of making him hard to catch here. He had it. Had that grab there. Go DI. But he'll die from that back throw. You know, that's a situation I think uh, players just got to get more familiar with. You know, maybe you'll DI a peak of fair away or you'll DI a puff down air away. But you can't just sit there and shield because they're they want the grab. You know why not? Oh, he trapped him, but Toko is so slippery just to get away there. He's hanging out below the platform. He's safe down there. Oh, he had him. Oh, couple of dropped opportunities there from both players. Oh, oh my god. A goodness. big whiff from Professor okay. Pro. Yeah, oh my gosh, that was really smart because... Professor Wizard, my bad. <laughs> yeah, if Toko uh, didn't yeah. up tilt rest, uh, he probably would have killed him off the side and got rested himself. Very smart from Toko there. I would have never thought of that. See, and now we are back at anybody's game. Good drill. Going to give himself top plat. Not too many jumps left, but yep, yep, it's, it's kind of tough to get that edge guard. What? Ooh. Couldn't quite DI away far enough from that one. Really even, honestly, that was so close. What do you think kind of made the difference that matchup? Uh, Professor Wizard just got a few more openings that he capitalized on. Like, it was otherwise, so close. Uh, it was very, very even. Yeah. Just Professor Wizard slightly out edged Nortoko there. Yeah, already cornering him. Way to go to the ledge from Toko, though. Oh, nice uh, cross up there. And they go for the trade as, you know, the puff wiener. It's just so good. It can't even beat itself. First blood, Lord Toko. Let's see if he can hang on to this oh. lead. Oh, he gets lucky. What's he going to do? Uh, 21. I mean, puff dittos, honestly, is kind of tough to get big open as us. Probably could have done something better, though. Oh, good roll. Oh, 
called him out there, but he just misses his execution. And now Toko with the grab. Got him in a good spot. Ooh. You know, Professor Wizard hadn't done that yet, so, you know, I'm kind of surprised that it, uh, he was ready for it. Toko really seems to be playing this from below, which just like it's it's kind of working out for him, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. Not enough time for a punish. Maybe a little. Yep, we'll take a grab. It's not too bad. Oh, just touches him. Can he finish it? Oh, he had him. Just a slow fall probably would have done it. Well, Toko lost the high ground there. Good read on the jump. I like that Nair. Oh. Might have been able to double jab there and catch him. Oh. Wow. Professor Wizard almost got out of dodge there, but uh, Toko just grab, 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 and roll is not too good in this game, so I'm going to take the stock. Oh, tricks him with the DI again out of that side flat. Toko puts himself in an advantageous position. Having trouble dealing with that uh, puff under the side flat, though. Ooh, gets the push off. What's he got for a punish? Not able to get much. Yeah, probably should have just but settled for a nair after that forward air. Right now, Lord Toko's won like the past couple of exchanges in this neutral battle yeah. where he's been below, but he's still been able to get the first hit. Yeah, like I said, it really seems like Toko's playing this game from below, but he's actually not doing too bad at it. Misses a confirm and then gets greedy. Good DI to... Oh, oh man. That... Oh. That is going to do it. Yep. Oh, wait. Is Hold on for that stock. Is Toko green? Yeah, Toko's green. Oh, it was a pop-off. It looked like a... Oh, no. Okay, yep. Yeah, you're right. Toko is green. And now here we are, game two. Toko with the slight percent lead, which can actually set you up for a downer gone. up to a rest. So this might be the next person to make a mistake loses. Yeah. You can't miss a rest here. You can't get, you know, give away a free opening. Goes black back to the plat to refresh his jumps, but Jeremy does the same. Professor Wizard going really high there. Good grab by Toko, but throws him upward. He just gave him the high ground. Toko with the reverse pop off <laughs> after uh, losing that that uh, that was kind of a tight battle there. Yeah, I'm surprised he went for that forward throw.